Hello Wolf Army, this is Jane's Videos, and I'm back with another Wolfman review, and this Wolfman review is on the Rising Swamp Hag. Now this is a very exciting Wolfman review because the Rising Swamp Hag is a prop that I've wanted ever since she was released, and thank, uh, thanks to Halloween Haunter, I was able to purchase her for only $70. I actually got her for $65 because we did the shipment through Mercari, so I uh, used a coupon that I had on Mercari, but I was able to get her for... I'll, I'll say 70 because that's how much uh, Chad got for it. Uh, $70, which I think is a phenomenal price for this prop. Um, the reason he sold it to me for so cheap is because we have a deal going that he's going to get my ghost face phone out of it and uh, my funny bones zombie baby. So, some people may say uh, that's not worth it, but seeing as this is a prop I've wanted for years now, I think it's totally worth it, and I'm glad with the deal uh, that we made. So thank you, Chad, for Rising Swamp Hag. It's really awesome. I've wanted her for a while. She was sold at, uh, she's not a Spirit Halloween exclusive prop, but she was sold at Spirit Halloween online only beginning in 2015. I think she was sold for other years onward. I really never understood why she didn't come to stores in 2015 because she would have worked perfectly in the swamp. I think she would have worked better than Creepy Rising Doll, but whatever, it's whatever she, I have her anyways now, so... I'm happy with that. I've wanted her for a long time because she's just super cool. We don't get very many swamp props, and I really love Louisiana and swamps and everything uh, for Halloween because Louisiana is home to New Orleans, which is the most haunted city in America and everything. Uh, and swamps are a big part of Louisiana, so I really like swamps for Halloween and... She's like the best swamp prop we've ever gotten, I think. And we haven't gotten very many, so she is really cool. There's a lot of reasons I like her. I really like her color scheme. I love her uh, southern accent. That's fantastic. Really sounds like she's from the swamps of Louisiana. I really love her appearance with the green, the different two different green colors kind of intermixed with her creepy cloth. That looks really nice. Makes her look like she came from a swampy marsh. And I really love her face. Her face is phenomenal. She looks like, uh, with her long pointy nose, she, she looks like something you'd see in like an enchanted forest, like a kind of troll. I really feel like she could work well with Forest Demon if you wanted to. Um, of course, I won't be using her in my haunt this year because, I mean, my haunt trailer is coming hopefully this week uh, sometime. But um, I won't be using her in my haunt this year just because she's not really a, uh, well, she obviously is not a prop that fits my theme. Now, you guys don't know what my theme is yet, but if you've been getting the drift of it, you'll know that she probably doesn't fit it based on the direction that the teasers are going in. She doesn't. I just wanted her because I really like her. I'm going to be putting her out in my front yard on Halloween night, but not using her in this year's haunt. But I do hope to use her in a haunt someday. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the review itself, uh, starting with her detail. She's got some really fantastic detail, as you can see on her face. They already mentioned I really, really like her face. There's her eyes, which she says in her phrase, her milky white eyes. Now, they do turn yellow when she's talking, so it's kind of weird that she says that, but uh, I really love her white eyes. I, I really like uh, all the warts and stuff on her face. It looks really cool. She's definitely one of the coolest witch-type props that we have ever seen, in my opinion. I love the detail. I love just all of the detail on her face. There's her eyebrows, and then her no her nose is pointy, and it's also really red. It's a uh, I, th I believe she's a latex material on the face, and then the nose is foam filled. And then you see her mouth. You can kind of see it, not very much, but you can kind of see it. She's missing some teeth and everything. She's just super cool looking. Now. I'll move on to her clothes now because that is definitely one of my favorite parts about her as I already mentioned because I love, I just love the creepy cloth on her. It works so well. Just, I know some people complain about props that have creepy cloth. I personally have never minded creepy cloth because I think it looks really cool on uh, most props that use it. I mean, there's some where it looks kind of weird, 
but on most props that use it, I think it looks really cool. But I feel like her creepy cloth is one of the best props that uses creepy cloth, just because it makes her look more like she's from a swampy marsh, or, in, or this is moss on her or something. It looks great. Like I already mentioned, I love the different colors. I love how there's a dark green and a light green. They just mix so well together, and it's got a really great color scheme that I like. And then underneath that, you've just got her brown cloth, which I really like because that blends well with the two different greens the brown cloth does. So I really like that as well. She's got white hair. I didn't mention that. Uh, she's got long white hair. It looks pretty cool. And then you move on to her hands. Her hands have pretty good detail. They're basic witch hands, but I don't know what else we, we would expect with her. So they've got pretty good detail. You can see the veins and the red and all of that and her black nails. Pretty cool. These are plastic. Now, she does, she doesn't have any issues. She works completely fine. The only thing is she doesn't fully open up her arms and head every single time that she's activated and you'll probably see that in a minute. But uh, Chad actually said that that's because some models have a different, like the mechanism is just stronger because the mechanism works perfectly fine because it does work a lot of times. It's just sometimes it's not strong enough to pull her up all the way when she rises. I mean, she rises all the way, but like open up her arms and uh, raise her head all the way. Some mechanisms just aren't strong enough to do that. Also, before you tell me to leave her in the up position, I know to do that. I'm just, I just have her in the down position right now for the sake of this review because she's plugged in anyways and I'm about to activate her. So before you mention you should leave her in the up position, I know that that's the best thing to do. She's just like this for the review. So anyways, uh, without further ado, how about we get into the prop itself? I would show you the inner workings of the prop, but she's on right now. And if I uh, try to like touch her or anything, the step pad will probably go off because it is kind of touchy. Now, Chad did say that the step pad didn't work, but I got it working. Um, I don't know, uh, maybe he just didn't have time to test it right or something, I don't know. But I got it working, uh, so that that's really good because um, I don't want her on sensor when she's just sitting in my room. So, it's good that I could get her step pad working because that's just another option of how to activate her. So without further ado, let's give her a whirl so you can see what she does. Also, let me mention, she looks super creepy when she's kneeling down like that. It's really disturbing how she looks. I love it. So without further ado, let's uh, turn her on. So as I said, it doesn't open up fully every time, but uh, that is just the strength of the motor because as you can see, it closes perfectly fine and most of the times when I use her, it opens up fully. Just a few times it doesn't, so that's not really a problem. I'm going to try her again. Let's see if it actually uh, does it better this time just so I can show you it better when she actually does it. Um, and because her she's only got one phrase, so I'll just show her to you again anyways just so you can see it again. So there she is. She is such a phenomenal prop in my opinion. I also forgot to mention, I, I mentioned how I love her voice. I also love the sound effects of like the, the swamp creatures in the background, the frogs and the just the different animals. It, it really helps uh, set the mood for her. I don't know if she has an auxiliary... Uh, 
a spot to put in an external speaker yet. I will have to check for that. I didn't really look, um, but I feel like she would be really cool with an external speaker to really amplify the sound effects in the background of her audio. So, on the Wolfman Reviewer, oh, first, before I mention this, if you do want this prop, it's going to be hard to get her because she is rare now. She's pretty rare. I have not seen her for sale for a long time, so it's going to be hard to get her. But let me say, if you can come across her and you like her, then you should go for her. Because like I said, she is hard to get now. So if you can find her somewhere and you come across her, go for it and buy her. Because she is a really cool prop. And of course, if you like her. Um, I know some people don't really care for her because she's not for everybody. It really depends on your personal preference. Personally, I just really like swamps and stuff. And I do like witches a lot. And so I do think she's a really cool prop. And she's one that I'm definitely into. So on the Wolf Fan Review rating scale... Um, I'm going to judge her price on her original price, which I know it was different. It changed over time. Originally, I think it was around 250 Then it was knocked down to 230 Then 200 I know Chad got this one for $50 when Spirit was doing a sale on her. So I'm going to judge her on her original price, which can be over 200 I think the price is not bad at all. Um, well, it's, it's a little overpriced. But it's not like ridiculously bad if you want to pay for her but I do think that her she should have originally just gone for 200 because she does have a lot of movement and everything so yeah that that's an issue but it's not ridiculously bad I really do like her I can't really justify her quality yet because I haven't had her enough to figure that out or figure out if anything's going to go wrong with her. But from what I know, she has pretty good quality because she's lasted chat a while and she's still working fine. So I would assume she's got pretty good quality here. And uh, I really like her detail, everything. So on the Wolf Hater Review rating scale, I'm going to give her 10 out of 10 claw marks because I really don't have any issues with her. So I hope you all enjoyed this Wolfman review. I really like Rising Swamp Pack. If you can ever find her, I highly recommend you go get her. Th again, thanks Chad for selling this to me for a great price. I'm really happy to add this to my collection. Keep howling at the moon, my werewolves.